In a game of crowns, or any game for that matter, the mind is perhaps one's greatest weapon. And we are about to witness this now in our question and answer portion. And like any other game, there are rules to follow. In this case, Nicole will approach each of our judges with a chest containing the names of the top 15. Each judge will pick a name and the chosen Bini Bini will have 30 seconds to answer the judge's question. When the time is up, we shall hear this sound. Bini Beanies, you have to be ready and be on your toes the entire time. Because no one knows if it's your turn already until your name is picked. So, good luck to everyone. And let's begin with our first judge, James Reed. Dumaguete. Joanna Carla Shad. Good evening. Good evening. My question for you. In this day and age of gender equality, can you say that Filipino men still practice chivalry or courtesy towards women? Why or why not? I have a trust for Filipino people that we Filipinos, women and men, are able to be, are able to show the capabilities of a heart of a Filipino. That we are able to show to the people that we are not just Filipinos with ordinary capabilities, but we are Filipinos with extraordinary capabilities. Thank you. Thank you, Dumagate. And now, for our next judge. Bobby Barrero. Miss Talisay Cebu. Hello. Hi. If you win the crown tonight, what can you do to get more women in the workplace? If I win the crown tonight, I will, what I will do is to promote my advocacy. My advocacy is for us women to fight for our rights and for the elderly care. And for us to be able to know that someone is loving us and someone is pushing us to whatever ambitions that we have, we will, able, we will be able to rise from our decisions to whatever dreams that we have, goals that we have, and we will achieve it because of those values, those wisdoms that they gave us. Thank you. Our next judge, Mr. Brian Koo. Ms. Maguindanao. Hi. Hi, good evening. Hello. Recently, migration and migrating became the most searched words on Google. What would you like to say to those disheartened Filipinos who seem to have lost hope for our country? I would say that history has shown us that Filipinos are very good at remaining steadfast despite any hardships or any uh, violence shown towards us. We do not stand for discrimination. And I would say that if you've lost your way, turn back to God and walk towards Him. Thank you. And now, for our next judge, Nadine Lustre. Pasig, Maria Andrea Abisamis. So what advice would you give a 16-year-old girl for her to become more socially aware and become an empowered young lady? 
What advice that I could give to a 16-year-old girl is that for her to read more and to also understand life. Because in the future, if you do not read more or understand life, you wouldn't know what's really happening. And that would be a hard thing for you. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Our next judge, Ambassador Giorgio Guglielmino. Uh, it's uh, Pampanga. Hello. Good evening. So let's talk about freedom of the press. Uh, is a free press important in a democratic society? Yes, it's important because with the press, we, we are able to be aware not only in our country, Philippines, but also around the world of what's happening. And as a press, we should be responsible. And also as a citizen, we should be responsible on the credible sites that we should look for. Thank you. Next judge, Christian Stan Harringer. My contestant is Cebu Samantha Ashley Lowe. What is your best non physical asset and why do you say so? I believe the best non-physical asset could be your spirit. I believe that when we have a strong spirit, a strong aura, we shine from within. We spread it. It's a beautiful butterfly effect. And I continue to encourage everyone to have positivity and show love. There's no need for negativity. There's nothing productive about it. Let's continue to shine and show love and be cool. Thank you. Our next judge, Mr. Inerio Borja. Miss Bataan. <laughs> Bea Patricia Magtanong. Good evening, Bea. Good evening, sir. If you could have the opportunity to meet somebody globally influential, who would that be and why? I really idolize Angelina Jolie because she was blessed with such a thriving career in Hollywood. But then as a woman, she was able to use that influence, that voice, and that audience to advocate for the causes that she believes in, like world hunger with the UN. And someday, if I am given the chance, I would like to be just like her. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you to the first half of our top 15 in their Q&A round. When we return, it's time for the second half to take the hot seat. Stay tuned, everybody.